Today we got what is the safest place on earth. This is from Real Life Law. They make amazing videos. So if you haven't checked them out already, make sure you do check them out. Let's jump straight into this video, man. Living on Earth in the modern world is the safest time to be alive in all of human history so far. Uh, Thanks to achievements in medicine, science, right, fair peace, enough. and technology, we can live a healthier, longer, and more peaceful <sighs> life than any generation. Yeah, but this is going to be about violence, surely. But where exactly on Earth is the absolute safest place Why is it so quiet? to live in? In other words, where are you statistically least likely to experience any kind of pain or suffering during your lifetime? I... There are a few possible places for you to consider, so let's go through them. The first criteria that we'll be using is life expectancy. The Surely, the main point here is going to be like, you know, fucking country violence or city violence, Residents right? Of these 10 countries live the longest lives anywhere in the world. Wait, what the- wait, 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 wait. Monaco, pretty much nine years old, and then the drop is five years. What the, bro? How are people in Monaco living so much longer? Hong Kong, Japan, Switzerland, Singapore, Australia, Spain, Iceland, Italy, Israel. Uh. Longest lives anywhere in the world. I don't know what the UK is. As long as Monaco, where the average life expectancy for both men and women is an incredible. That's crazy. Point five years. That is crazy. One trick to live a longer lifetime is What's to be on, the correct okay. gender. Women all around the world live longer lives than men do on average. Why? But here in Monaco, <laughs> they have a life expectancy of ninety-three point five years. The longest anywhere on earth if your biggest fear is being murdered what by the another fuck? human then you should consider living in one of these 10 countries that have the lowest intentional homicide rate all right this is this is what I, this is what i was saying um violence right so Macao, <laughs> i've definitely butchered that singapore hong kong japan french polynesia brunei indonesia australia uh, austria Bahrain, no you know what? Norway's a really nice place to live. The lowest intentional homicide rates. Andorra, Monaco, Liechtenstein, and San Marino all reported not a single murder in the previous year. While Japan what? has the lowest homicide rate of any country in the world that's not a city or a microstate. While your chances of being murdered in Japan are astronomically lower than almost anywhere else, your chances of... This, this has got to be for the video, surely. <laughs> bro, imagine the cars waiting for this guy. Yo, come the on, of a bro. Natural disaster like a tsunami or an earthquake are astronomically higher at the same time. Right, okay. And yeah. countries where you're less likely to become a victim, however, are these, which also happen to be the 10 countries where natural disasters happen least often. Bro, where's UK? Because the UK, we don't have any natural disasters, do we? Like, there's no volcanoes, there's barely any. Uh, Earthquakes is not hurricanes or tornado tornadoes or and I'm pretty sure like ice and I don't know. I don't know. I don't Cutter know. tops Interesting. this list as the country where you're least likely to ever be a victim of a disaster. While neighboring Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates also score very highly here. Uh, as interesting. far as the overall happiness of a country's population, however, Scandinavia dominates the list with Norway, Denmark. Bro, UK is just a shithole. <laughs> UK is just a goddamn shithole, bro. Norway, Denmark, guys. No, no, Norway is, um, yeah, Norway uh, seems to be up here quite a bit. Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Switzerland, Finland, Netherlands, Canada, New Zealand, Aus uh, Australia, Sweden. Denmark, Iceland, Finland, and Sweden all placing in the top 10 happiest countries. Wow. Happiness mm. is measured by high GDP per capita, high life expectancy, uh. freedom to make life choices, and low corruption. And all of Scandinavia excels in all of these areas. A few other countries yeah, I'm pretty sure are also pretty happy it's known that, you know, Scandinavia, Scandinavia countries is happy people. Countries with the greatest amount of freedom of the press, with the same five countries once again being in the top 10. Wow. You're least likely to be attacked or persecuted for what you write in these countries. Okay. And unsurprisingly, Scandinavia also scores highly in the top 10 least air polluted countries. With Sweden, I... Iceland, and Finland all scoring high. United States? Huh? Wait, what the fuck? Bro, I did not expect that in one bit. Least air polluted countries. United States. Holy shit, what the fuck? Really here. 
Canada, Australia, and especially New Zealand also have some of the cleanest air to breathe in the world. So your risk of getting lung or respiratory disease... Is it, is it because um, you're not... Yeah, at least air polluted countries, right? Is it because the United States is so big? And everyone's quite spread out and stuff. Jesus in any of these is significantly lower than elsewhere. As far as being a danger to yourself is concerned, however, the islands of the Caribbean tend to have the lowest suicide rates, with St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Bahamas, Jamaica, Grenada, Barbados. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you're on the Bahamas, mate, you ain't gonna wanna go anywhere. If you're on the Bahamas, you ain't gonna wanna go anywhere. Of course, that's got low suicide rate. Do you know how beautiful the Bahamas is? You wake up every single day, you just look out there, you'll be, you be loving life. You'll be loving life. And especially Antigua and Barbuda, having the lowest in the world. If dying from disease is what you're most terrified by, however, right. you should know that these 10 countries are where you're- Bro, the UK has not been anywhere. Bro, the UK- I, I pretty much see that because- Not every country, because there's a lot of fucking countries, but, you know, a lot of the big countries- you, UK is not there, bro. Of death from a non-communicable disease are the lowest. Switzerland, Japan, and Iceland are all equally safe in this regard. Uh, but Iceland excels in one more final category. Right. The Global Peace Index ranks every country in the world every year from yep. least safe to most safe. And this year, in 2017, they've awarded the title of the safest country on Earth to none other wow. than Iceland. Isn't you it normally Switzerland? Iceland has absolutely excelled in nearly all of these categories, since it placed in the top 10 for lowest risk of dying from a non-communicable disease, the happiest countries in the world, lowest right. risk of being a natural disaster victim, right. lowest amount of air pollution, but it's also freezing fucking cold. <laughs> Highest life expectancy, right. freedom of the press, and overall safest countries in the world. Holy shit, in addition, okay. Iceland has had a total of one person killed in any military conflicts in the last nearly 500 years. And it was during an argument over fishing rights with the what United the Kingdom fuck? in the 1970s. Police violence is also incredibly rare, since Icelandic police have only ever claimed the life of one person in the entire country's modern history. Huh? So the case is very strong for Iceland being the safest place to live out your life wow. in the entire world. But other places that scored highly in all of these categories that would make for a good secondary alternative safe place are Switzerland, yep. Denmark, Norway, yep. Sweden, Finland, Spain, Monaco, Austria, Spain, or Brunei, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. But if you're like me, then the safest place you look forward to going to every night is your own bed. You will spend one yeah, third of your entire life sleeping, so you may as well make it as comfortable and as safe and as Oh, well, is this a bad advert? And a yeah, there. <laughs> but really, really good video. Iceland is our safest place. If you guys want to, you know, live out your life, you know, with, you know, with no hassle, you want to be safe, Iceland is the best bet. Freezing cold, but, you know, th 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 there's some good alternatives as well. But really, really good video. I enjoyed that one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it too. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate you guys um, supporting the channel and watching the videos. Much love for that. And I'll see you all in the next video.